back again with another video it's your boy q if you're already subscribed welcome back to q timber if you're new here q timber is basically a challenge that i started for myself where i upload every single day for the month of september so we're doing 30 videos in 30 days if you guys want to make sure you don't miss a single episode go ahead hit that subscribe button and right next to it is going to be a bell button if you hit that you're going to be notified every single time i upload but anyways i think you guys already know what time it is if you guys know me you know i'm a big fan of the rage beats and just any super electronic sound like that and i know you guys like watching me make them so you know what that's what we're doing today if you guys are living under a rock then you might not know that trippy red just dropped his album trip at night it's one of my favorite trippy albums you know i can't really put a pin on it yet to say that it is my favorite but i mean that's like my favorite style of music right now by far i can't really tell if it has any longevity yet but i think it's just it's just a vibe it's it's that music that you like to listen to in the gym and stuff and it's just like got energy to it it puts you in a good mood and it just makes you go so uh yeah that's what we're gonna be cooking up today so we're gonna hop in fl studio we're just gonna make something crazy but before we do that i wanted to let you guys know i am working on a serum bank so if you guys are interested in that make sure you stay tuned as always anything you see me use in this video will be available at quindibaba.com let's get in fl studio and i'll show you guys how to make some rage beats all right my twizy gang so we got a patch of serum pulled up right here it sounds like that and uh we're just gonna go ahead and, oh i also have the bpm set to 146 so we're gonna hop into the piano roll by the way i have the view Scale highlighting, I have this set to A natural minor. I think this is a great scale to work in. For Rage Beats, it's just a great starter. I don't know why it has. Alright, so this should work just fine. This is a super common chord progression, actually. But, uh, sounds really good, so let's just hear how this sounds. Alright, you know what? Um, that's pretty much what I'm going to stick with for now, and then I'm just going to do, like, some kind of filler notes that we can just fill up this area with. Something like... Then we could do something like this a bit faster over here. Get this over. Gonna mess something up here. I'll just duplicate this over twice and then we're gonna bring this note up. Alright, this is cool. So now we're just going to look for some more sounds in Serum that we can fill this out with.
Ooh, I like this a lot. Let's just EQ this a tad bit. All right, uh, I think we're gonna do a bass next. I'm gonna just pull up Serum. Shout out Synthetic, by the way. This is his bank. Super fire. So I'm gonna route that bass out and we're just gonna EQ out some of that high. And then we're just gonna kind of find some kind of like pluck and then we're pretty much done with this melody. So that pluck sounds good, and we're just gonna reverb that out a little bit. So I'm gonna add a Valhalla vintage verb. That's the whole melody right there. So now what we're gonna do is just split by channel and arrange this kind of like as a loop. We're gonna duplicate it over. We're gonna have an eight bar intro with the bass. Take the bass out, and then we'll take the pluck out. And then, as always, whenever you are, whenever you're sending out loops, always make sure you have the stems in there. So we duplicate this over a bunch. Basically, what you do, just give it a gap for the tail, and then just play each sound by itself, just like that. And then we're gonna save this. We'll call it. Uh, first, we're gonna go to the loop folder. Call it Segue. So here's the fun part. Now we're gonna go ahead and open a new FL Studio session. We're gonna grab the loop that we just made. Just drag it in here, set the BPM to 146. We're going to go to my drum kit and we're going to make a new pattern called drums. Drag that in, make it eight bars long. And then we're going to cut up the sound. So that we just have the stems. Boom, and just delete those inside pieces. There we go. And we're going to make this bass unique just so we can track it out to a separate spot. Track those two out. Duplicate that over, have an intro, and then and then we'll just bring this pattern in, make it eight bars long. And let's get started on the drums. So I'm gonna be using my drum kit as always, which is available at quintababa.com. You can get it part of the multi-kit full circle, or you can get everything by itself. The full circle multi-kit comes with a drum kit, a loop kit, a mini kit, and a one-shot kit. But like I said, you can get those all separate. But the drum kit's called Euphoria, so let's just grab a clap and a snare. We're gonna grab this one right here. Apply the default pattern. Then we're gonna grab a snare and I want like a big one. We're gonna grab this. And basically what we're gonna do here is go like this. We're gonna take the second clap out and put a snare there instead. Turn it up and bring it down. We're gonna duplicate that over and then also go to the snare. Get that over. And right onto the hi-hat. And then uh, we're going to grab an 808 here before we do anything else. Just uh, cut itself, turn it all the way up, and let's make a pattern. We already know the, we already know the root note, so we're all set. And 
And what I'm going to do on this 808 is go to the envelope settings and just put the hold all the way up, tag all the way down, and release all the way down. Just so you can do like some cool little 808 tricks like this. <laughs> All right, then let's just uh, continue the bounce going. So I'm going to get a little open hat here. I'm gonna try and do like this 808 trick where you basically use two different 808s. I'm gonna grab this one for my kick called Death Race, and we're gonna pull out that kick in the beginning. I use this 808 a lot, and I never use the kick. It's uh, pretty funny because I actually made that 808 and put that big ass kick in there. Now it sounds like that, and basically what we're gonna do here is pull this out so it'd be like. All right, last thing we're going to try here is I'm just going to go grab a kick from my kit. I'm going to drag this in, and then I'm just going to see if this sounds cool. Last thing we got to do is just uh, route these drums to the mix track. You just do that by hitting Control Shift L. All right, let's arrange this a little bit. We're gonna split the drums by channel, and then pretty much my favorite thing to do right now for like intros and just like melody switch ups is you go to the melody track, add an EQ. And we're gonna add two things. We're gonna add a sound shifter this is a plugin by waves you could just uh mess with the pitch in my opinion it's just a little bit easier to use basically what i do is i just bring this ratio knob all the way down and it brings the melody down 12 semitones then we're going to add an eq to make sure it doesn't bring back in any bass then we're going to automate this and basically what i do for the intros is i have make two points right here and i just have it go back to its normal pitch like that and i bring in this effect for my kit called dash we just drag it right at that spot, crack it out, and turn it down a little bit. And that's the whole beat right there. All right, you guys, so that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you guys liked the way this beat turned out. Looks like we're back at it again with the Rage Beats. And I know you guys like that, so we're just going to keep doing it for as long as it'll ride out. Hopefully, there's some longevity to this, but you never know. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and you don't miss an episode of Cute Timber. As for right now, that's all I got for you guys. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Doses.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>